Welcome on guys, Omar J here and thank you for joining me for today's Vlogtober episode. Now, if this is your new to this channel, please consider subscribing. On this channel, we focus on redefining the beliefs, the behaviors and boundaries of and about men and then, you know, just going on about life and helping others to do the same, you see me? So, if it is that you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. I consider myself to be a creative explorer and in this video, we're going to be talking about a small piece of what I explored to get some sort of creativity for this set. Where I changed my, my set from looking like this to looking like this. Zine. So, let's get into the video, shall we? So, as I said, my name is Omar J. Harris and I consider myself to be a creative explorer. Zine. Now, what that entails is that I really truly did not have a specific title that I could give myself as I wouldn't consider myself to be a you know, full-on photographer just yet or a cinematographer slash videographer or a... An, I'm, I'm definitely not an artist like, I can't draw, I can't rap, I can't sing like, I don't mean that Zine, but I do love music and I do love the arts and all the things there and I've always and I've always had this vested interest in or at least some sort of interest in checking these things out and being in different spaces that where I can either learn or grow or just be intrigued and entertained by these creative endeavors, right? So I kinda coined that term creative explorer based on me just always on the go and always looking for something new or something else to to either occupy my mind or occupy my time or just venturing into something new right now you would have realized from the last video that I did that something changed the set looked different like the mood was different the the vibe was different it looked cleaner it looked you know they have a what the young people them say they have a buzz yeah man they have a vibe you see me and that's really true that like i was so proud of it <laughs> when i was finished i was like yo this shell you see me so we're just going to run through it now uh what i'm gonna do is to start from the beginning and then we run through it and and we can see so yeah All right, so normally when I would do a video, this is what you would see. I would have the room light on, the couch, and that is it, <laughs> right? Then I added a soft box, which I'll, I'll link down below. I added a soft box, which I got off Amazon. Pretty cheap, not the greatest light source, but I just got it because I needed something to, you know, help fill in the, the dark spaces and such and uh, this is what I've been rocking for quite some time alright let me show you guys the soft box so this is it this is the soft box it's a new soft box uh, velcro so inside it is just a regular bulb you know put this back on it makes the light it spreads the light more and it softens it it make doesn't it doesn't look as harsh yeah there we go so the light isn't as harsh coming down hitting hitting my face because we already have a harsh light which is that one right so this is what i added first now i've been working with this for quite some time no i've been working with this setup for quite some time right as well this is what i thought was good uh, i thought this was decent had enough light you could see my face i'd plug in my 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 mic and you would hear me you'd see me content is being pushed out so i thought that was good but then i watched a video from yanni creed he's also doing the vlog tobo challenge you guys should check, should check out his stuff if it is that you are interested in tech and lifestyle and all that stuff he's definitely definitely the youtuber to go and check out 
scene and so I watched one of his recent vlogtober videos man the place is Woo. Brina father type of thing this room is not as cool can you stand the rain? yes so Yannick he had done a setup he had done a video showing his setup for his YouTube videos so I thought I'd do the same and he added some elements that I was like hmm if I could do that then my thing could probably, you know, the quality could up a little bit, you see me? So I was like, yeah man, let's see if I can try and do that. Now, I I was thinking, all right, how am I going to get a light source that is decent? So I have, I have the soft box already, but I realized that the light source in the room is really harsh and it almost makes the soft box redundant, right? So what I decided I was going to do was to just turn off the light. Like already you can see the difference. Zine, by just turning off that main harsh light, you get a more focused light on the subject, which is me presenting subject. Zine. No, I was like, all right, cool. So you know, focus light on me now. I wish I had a brighter bulb or at least a, a, a softbox that could hold a higher output for the light source, but this isn't bad, right? The light, the light output could be more, but the quality of light is good, right? So now what, we're going, what I was thinking now is, for a little extra oomph, what we can add to this, so we're going to make it nice. And I remembered what Yannick did. Yannick had a secret sauce, which is funny because he also did a video on sauces. You should also check that out. He, did, he had a secret sauce um, to he added a secret sauce to all his videos, which is a backlight. And it, 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 it also essentially played as, a, as somewhat of a hair light, but it was more of a backlight than anything else. So I was like, how can I get a backlight? I need a backlight, but I don't have I don't want, I didn't want like a backlight that was just gonna be bright and just hit the wall and you just get this orange glow. Alright, so I was like, ah, I remember there is a red bulb in the house somewhere. So I went, <laughs> I found the red bulb and I brought it here and I was like, but I need I need another lamp or something. Because I couldn't I could add it to the room to the where the room is, the room bulb is up there. But I was like Nah, I want a backlight. So I got a lamp that was just sitting in a row. I, I want this. Let me show you the lamp. So I got a lamp and I got a stool. Hey, please ignore the my lights and lights and box. So I got a lamp and a stool, and I put the lamp on the stool. Put the bulb, the red bulb, in it, and then said, "Let there be light." So that now bounces off the wall. So you're not seeing the bulb itself. It bounces off the wall to give that nice glow at the back. And that's it. <laughs> didn't do much, didn't break the bank, did not go to, did, did not have to get any expensive quick equipment, did not have to get any professional equipment. It was literally just everyday things. But except for probably the softbox, you'll actually have to purchase a softbox that is going to give you directional light that is soft that is wide i actually want to get a bigger soft box because the bigger the light the, the better the quality of light the bigger the light and bigger the output of the light yeah the better the quality i so so yeah everyday things uh, this this coach is has been here for, for from my barn <laughs> pillows a lamp stool tripod if, if you don't have a tripod you can get like some books and lean up um lean up your phone against against the books them make it you know stand and all them things there and it literally transformed the quality the video quality of my, my set the only thing i need to add now yeah so the only thing left to add now is my mic and i purposely didn't add my mic to the beginning of the
because I wanted you to hear the difference in audio. This is the audio with this is the audio with the mic. So audio without the mic. Audio with the mic. Right? And I don't have to extend my voice. I don't have to extend my voice as much as I would need to because the mic is literally right here. Right? So normally you'd see me clip the mic here and you just see the clip. Cause yes, you know, I like sorry. I like to hide the mic as best as possible. But yeah, this mic didn't cost me cost me much. Got it off Amazon. It actually is a double mic, two, two mics with a Y jack, so I can plug in this mic and another mic into one input that sends it directly to the phone, and I can have an interview with someone else, you know. So yeah, that's it. That's what I did. That is the exploring. <laughs> that is the, the exploring that I did to up my look a little bit more you know so thank you guys for joining me for this video please if it is that you like this video give it a thumbs up if you did not yeah consider subscribing if you if you like this kind of content we'll be doing more i we we are coming up with more videos tomorrow trying to get caught up back with the vlog tobo so I can end the month finishing with 30, 31 videos. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys again for joining me. Big up yourself, is it me? I'm such a fool. Uh, so let's get into the video, shall we? Can you stand the rain? Hey. Can you stand the rain? Can you stand the rain? <laughs>